Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we are going to define what a weird number is. Uh, this number, these types of numbers is related to abundant, deficient, and the perfect numbers that we did the last video. Except it delves more deeply into the using uh, the idea of uh, finding the divisors, this, and then find the sum of the divisors, and then relate this to the actual number itself, and you'll, you'll see what I mean. So to, to define a weird number, we first have to define something called a semi-perfect number. Semi-perfect number. So a semi-perfect number is a number where the if you list out its divisors, then uh, if you can take some of these divisors, or all of them, and have them sum to the number itself. So sum of sum of its divisors equals the number itself. For example, if we look at 12, 12 has the divisors of 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Oh yeah, of course, you can't, you can't just choose 12 itself, that's cheating. So, if you can, if you choose 2, 4, and 6, we can see that these indeed sum to 12. So 12 is a semi-perfect number. Now we can define what a weird number is. A weird number, weird, is equal to, and it's an abundant number, abundant number that is not a semi-perfect number. So we can see that 12 is an abundant number. From We learned that from the last video. Except for it's semi-perfect, as we can see right here. So it's not weird. It turns out the smallest weird number is 70. This has factors of 1, 2, 5, 7, and then 10, uh, 14, 35, and 70. So you can check that this is abundant because we can see that all these sum to greater than 140, clearly. And uh, if you keep on checking each of the possibilities, you can see that no matter what numbers you choose in here, you can never get it to sum to 70. This is never possible. So therefore, 70 is a weird number. Now you might think that weird numbers are already have a weird definition because it's like the sum it's a abundant number that is not semi perfect and a semi perfect number is that sum of some of its divisors is equal to n in contrast to a perfect number which is sum of all of its divisors is equal to two n. I mean like wow. But you might think that there's this is enough definitions for the idea of having the sum of some or all of its divisors is greater than, equal to or less than n or two n. But there's also stuff like hemi-perfect, almost perfect, perfect, quasi-perfect, super-perfect, hyper-perfect, highly abundant, super-abundant, colossally abundant numbers. I don't even know. Us mathematicians are weird. Hi guys, Daniel here, and today I'm going to start a series called Number Names, where I'll be describing the definitions of various types of numbers that one would wonder why a mathematician would even bother naming.